how did it all come about? Uh, Globsyn Business School, that is. Uh, after technology, the next important thing in the industry is management. This school has come up brick by brick. I mean, we were no nobody, and wanting to be the best doesn't work together. So you know, it, we had set very very high ambitions. My name called in a lot of students, a lot of parents, and this this uh, you know this kind of exercise is security. I mean. If you're going to A school or a B school, you know who, who's behind it. So that helped us when we started. So we wanted to bring in a modern school and we wanted to build people uh, who would make a difference to the industry. And that's the genesis of which how Globes in Business School started. I think it's the largest school in East India, but that's, that's not our target. First nine years of Globes in Business School we did not take accreditation by choice and the reason being I, I is to tell everybody including the press that I want Globes in Business School to stand on its own and students to come on its own after that I'll do accreditation not before that students should come because we, we give good placements we have good faculty we have good environment to work so that was what I tried to build and I we were relatively successful there. that is why we went on to the campus, we created a campus in 2011. Management is not BA, BA, C, B, Com. Management is experiential. What you see in society, what you see in the industry, where you fail, where you succeed, unless those are incorporated in the curriculum and the device, then you reading in textbooks, you don't become a manager. Came out with this uh, idea of beyond education. Now this beyond education is uh, curriculum is in the centerpiece. Then we build a person, a human being. We have five or six programs. One is uh, we have uh, our foundation, uh, which is in my name, Bikram Das Gupta Foundation. And we have a brand called Kalyani, where our students work with the specially able kids. They work with old age homes and they also help the needy. So that's one seg segment of, we have another segment which is called Calcutta Broadway. You have to perform and you get money. If there is no performance, you don't get any money. I had to do something which will be a systemic thing. So I started thinking and I came out with this concept of health insurance card, which was basically, I called it the Broadway insurance card and I I put my team, the business school team only, into action. Uh, it's a very unique card because it, it takes care of very, very basic thing. And doctor's fees is very important. Like you have to take your dad to the doctor, the fees is paid for by the insurance. So I think that's something our foundation has done very well. And mostly the students. Behind all this, I used students as the volunteers. They would say, in social work you need a lot of money you don't what you need is will you sit next to that 91 year old lady for six hours today in a working day can you afford to do that is that a priority for you then you're a social worker so this element of learning has to come into the system if you've done that to that old lady what is a job nothing and that confidence will radiate in your eyes and ears and your persona so we are doing across the board this exercise among and MBA students are the right students to do it because if you are not compassionate, you cannot be a manager. In recognition of this, AICT has give, made this beyond education as uh, one of the best practices in the industry. It has been recognized as a best practice. We don't have competition, nobody's doing it, so we are okay. But it's, it's such a recognition which is phenomenal to think. I, I take a class called Learn and Intern. Hmm. And this is one class per semester per year. That class is a four hour class taken by me without a piece of paper. It's absolutely extempo. And it is and I've been taking it for 20 years. Hmm. And it is basically trying to understand or make you understand 
how you should lead your life. Uh, this is one uh, L and I question, which is, suppose we are talking like this, and there are 200 students sitting in front of me, and suddenly the power goes off, and it's pitch dark. Different people will respond differently. This happens, your upbringing shows very clearly. You can, as, as a research scholar, you should make notes who's doing what, not to punish them, but just to know what you work you have to do for them. So I think uh, this is L and I, this kind of sessions we have, then they come out with their questions. So it was kind of a clinic in terms of helping them to be smarter, stronger, confident. And you know, it has done wonders in the industry. Drops in business school students are definitely different than others. I can vouch for it.